and if mouth is not written for you, if death is not yet ordained for you, he then returns the soul for a specific period of time. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is Fanny lungu other than just doing reactions we also have other things that we do we've got a second youtube channel called Fanny and jesse 2.0 we post vlogs every other weekend and just feel free to check it out we also have a patreon account we have a podcast we've got um things that we do separately and you can just find the links in the description for everything that i've said make sure to check out my blog uh, blue and my Instagram Stephanie so L short stories and poems that I post there so just feel free to look at them and just enjoy um, today I'm going to be before I get into the video I'd like to give a big shout out to everyone that's been supporting us so far thank you for watching subscribing sharing everything that you guys are doing and I wish you uh, good health in these times and I hope you're doing all right. So without wasting time today, I'm going to be reacting to, um, I'm going to be reacting to proof that Jesus is alive today, right now. So without wasting time, let's get into it. And when Allah did send the Messiah, some of them accepted him, but the rabbis rejected him. They said his mother gave birth to him when she was not married. And so he is a bastard. And a bastard cannot be the Messiah. And then when they sentenced him to death for blasphemy, because he claimed to be the Messiah, the son of Mary, Nabi Isa alayhi salam, and then the Roman government or the reluctant Roman government then executed the sentence. And then they saw him die on the cross before their very eyes. They were now absolutely convinced he could not have been the Messiah. Why? Why? He's dead. The golden age never came back. He never ruled the world from holy Israel. Israel is still under Roman occupation. And number two, look at how he died. He died by crucifixion. And our book, the Torah, says that whosoever dies like that is the cursed of the Lord. There's a curse upon him. So they're now convinced beyond any shadow of a doubt he could not have been the promised Messiah. So they're waiting for the Messiah to come. What they did not know, and no one knew, <coughs> for some 600 years, no one knew until the Quran came down. We said, no, they did not succeed in killing him. No, they did not succeed in crucifying him. Allah made it appear that he was crucified. Allah says, Walakin shubbiha lahum. Allah made it appear like that. Well then, what happened? What happened? Does the Quran not say that it was sent to explain all things? Hmm? that it is tibiyan and likulli shay in surah an nahl it explains all things so it must explain what happened how did allah make it appear that nabi isa alayhi salam was crucified when he was not the answer is there in the quran <coughs> in surah to ali imran the third surah of the quran and again in Surah Al-Ma'idah, the fifth Surah of the Qur'an, Allah uses the word wafat. Wafat in this context, in this context, 
means taking the soul. Governments don't take your soul. The World Bank can't take your soul. Only an angel can take your soul. Won't you agree with me? Only an angel. <laughs> and Allah instructs the angel to take your soul. So, in this context, the implication is that Allah took the soul of Nabi Isa alayhi salam. Is it possible <coughs> that he took the soul and returned it? Is that possible? In Surah Al-Zumar of the Quran, Allah explains, and I'm going slowly now because this is so important. In Surah Al-Zumar of the Quran, <coughs> Allah says, بَعَلَوْذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ Allah takes the souls at the time of maut. Maut is death. Allah takes the souls at the time of death. Walati lam tamut fi manamiha. And those whose souls are not taken while they are awake. Allah takes the souls while you are asleep. For Yumsikulati Koda Alehal Maut. He then keeps those souls for whom Maut is written. Death is ordained. Wa Yursilul Ukhra ila ajalim musamma. And for those for whom Maut is not yet written. Allah returns the souls. We know from this verse one form, one form, namely sleep, in which Allah does this. He takes your soul and He returns it. This may not be the only one, but this is one. That while you're asleep, He takes your souls. And if mouth is not written for you, if death is not yet ordained for you, he then returns the soul for a specific period of time. In which case, you did not die. No. That's why you are here sitting in this auditorium today. <laughs> if Allah had kept the soul, you would not be here, you would be underneath the earth. So now it is clear, if Allah took the soul, this is the context in which the word wafat is used in both Surah to Ali Imran and Surah to Ma'idah. This is the context that Allah took the soul. If he took the soul and he did not return it, then Nabi Isa died. He was crucified. But Allah says, no, they did not succeed in crucifying him. They did not crucify him. They did not kill him. And so there's only one possible explanation left. And that is that after Allah took the soul, and they were now convinced that he was dead. And they took down the body. They took the body down because they were convinced he was dead. They prepared the body for burial, which is Janaza. And then they put the body in a cave. They sealed the cave. Then Allah returned the soul, so he did not die. So the soul has been returned to the body, not to Chicago. The soul has been returned to the body. So when the soul is returned to the body, you'll wake up, you'll stand up wounded. I mean, why is this subject so difficult for some people to understand? So he's now alive, he never died. But if they know he's alive, they're going to come after him again. So then Allah raised him, body and soul, everything. 
Allah raised him the way he raised Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam in the Isra and Miraj, the nocturnal journey. Raising in the sense of taking him from this material universe into other worlds of space and time. I have no other English word to use than the word raise. And I'm allowed to use the word raise because in the Quran Allah uses the same word Bal Rafa'ahullahu ilayh. Allah raised him unto himself. Meaning that Nabi Isa <coughs> alayhi salam, the Prophet Jesus, is no longer in our world of space and time, no longer in our material universe. He has now been transported into another world of space and time, or what the Quran refers to as the Samawat. There are seven of them. And in physics, they're called parallel universes. Every physicist knows about it. Ask Einstein, he'll tell you. Hmm? <coughs> Since he never experienced death, no, never experienced mouth, no. And since Allah says in the Quran, Kulu nafsin za ikatul maut, every soul must taste death. It follows that Nabi Isa Islam must return. Secular scholarship may look upon us with scorn and with disdain and laugh at us for believing what the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that one day he will return with his hands resting on the wings of two angels. But they don't believe in this. They think this is Disneyland. So let them go their way and let us go ours. And don't waste your time with them. But they did not know that. They thought he was dead. And they know that when Allah gives his word, he keeps his word. So they're still waiting for the Messiah. Who when he comes, will rule the world. From the Holy Land, from Jerusalem. With a rule which will be eternal, meaning the end of history. Such an interesting video. So let me get this right. So we're saying Jesus was indeed crucified but didn't die. Is this what I'm getting from this video? He was crucified but didn't die. Whoever put him up there and took him down thought he died. So let me so is it safe to say maybe he just fainted from the pain he was going through or he just played dead so he could be taken down i'm confused so someone just explained that to me so did he just play dead so that he could be taken down that's when he woke up in the tomb what really happened so it's more like saying what christians believe is partly right you don't, Muslims don't want to look at it as being crucified, but Christians do look at it like that. And both are agreeing that he was put in the tomb. Only that Muslims believe he didn't die by crucifixion. But these, but Christians believe he died by crucifixion. So, it's just mind-blowing. Anyone who wants to explain that to me, feel free. Also, another point I wanted to talk about was that, um, also, if he's really the son of God, why would he die by crucifixion? Isn't that too harsh for someone who lived in a good way or did good deeds? Is it, wasn't that too much? As I always say, I'm always eager to learn. So let me know what you guys think about the questions that I've asked and what I got from these. And feel free to explain further. So I'll see you in my next reaction video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and of course share.